Cloud Code is a set of extensions for the most popular development tools in the market, the JetBrains family of IDEs, such as IntelliJ and Visual Studio Code. In this video, we'll cover the navigation and capabilities of Cloud Code using the VS Code version. Cloud Code speeds up your development by streamlining common workflows for Python, Go, Node.js, and Java applications, merging non-trivial tasks into a simple user interface right in your IDE. This means no more switching between your command line, Cloud Console, and Code Editor. Tasks like going through the loop of building, pushing, deploying, and debugging your application can be both burdensome and error-prone. Cloud Code handles that for you. A key goal of Cloud Code is to enable continuous development by automating processes. For example, you can rapidly iterate on a live Kubernetes cluster or add a Google Cloud API to your application from your IDE. The first thing you'll notice when you install Cloud Code is the welcome page. This provides a summary of the key supported features and also has a direct link to creating a new project from one of our starter templates. Let's take a look at what Cloud Code adds to the VS Code UI. A few icons have been added to the VS Code activity bar. Each icon focuses on a separate task within Cloud Code. If a certain task doesn't apply to your workflow, you can hide it by right clicking it and selecting Hide. There's also the addition of the Cloud Code status bar seen at the bottom of VS Code. From here, you can access quick actions like running and creating a new application. Cloud Code commands have also been added to the command palette. You can access them by pressing Command Shift P and typing in Cloud Code. Let's take a look at the workflows Cloud Code supports. First, we have Cloud Code for Kubernetes. I'll create a new Kubernetes app using one of the templates. Cloud Code lets you run, debug, and view the logs of your Kubernetes apps. This app is ready to go, so let's try running and debugging it. To deploy this app, all I need to do is click the Cloud Code status bar and select Run on Kubernetes. Once the deployment is finished, click the link from the log to view your app running on your local Kubernetes cluster. To debug your app, view your code and place a breakpoint. Go back to the status bar and select Debug on Kubernetes. Once you view your app and trigger the breakpoint, VS Code's debugger activates, allowing you to step through your code. If we head to the Cloud Code for Kubernetes view, you'll find the Kubernetes Explorer. The Kubernetes Explorer lets you visualize all the resources within your cluster. You can see information like the IP address of your services and the ports they use. This means you don't have to remember all the core CLI commands to find this info. Right-clicking on resources provides contextual links for actions such as viewing the logs from a pod and opening a connected terminal, all from within VS Code. You can also create a new cluster from here. Next, there's Cloud Code for Cloud Run. Cloud Run is our fully managed serverless product with auto scaling that scales down to zero. As you can see, my Google Cloud project already has a couple Cloud Run services that are displayed in the Cloud Run Explorer. With Cloud Code, you can deploy a new containerized app to Cloud Run and view the logs for your Cloud Run services. You can also test things out locally before you deploy by running and debugging your service on Cloud Code's Cloud Run emulator. Finally, there's Cloud APIs. All Google Cloud APIs are listed here. If you select an API, you're able to quickly enable it and follow the provided install instructions. After that, 
you're ready to use it with your application. YAML authoring assistance is another pillar of Cloud Code. Cloud Code supports a number of configuration files, including Kubernetes resources like Config Connector and Cloud Build configurations. It also supports over 300 custom resource definitions. Here's a quick example of what YAML authoring assistance looks like for a Kubernetes config file. By pressing Control Space, I get a variety of snippets to pick from. After picking one, I can tab through the sections I need to fill in. By pressing Control Space again, I get suggestions. Linting catches syntax errors, and hovering over configurations provides inline documentation. In conclusion, Cloud Code is a tool that speeds up non-trivial, tedious tasks when developing cloud-native applications. It also reduces friction when creating YAML configuration files. To learn more about what you can do with Cloud Code, head to this link. Also check out the description below for more resources. We'll go over other scenarios in future videos. Until next time!